everybody, I'm Laia, and this is the best of the Roots Picnic 2011, where we ask you, how are you connected? I'm Deanna Williams. I'm Spanky. My name is Lee Andrews. My name is Anthony Tidd. I'm Torre, and how I'm connected to the Roots is in 1991, when I was living in Philly, there was this hot little group that everybody was talking about. They did a killer show at the Painted Bride. It was incredible. It was a quartet. They were called the Square Roots. The white boy was on the stand-up bass. Black Thought on the mic. Quest Love on the drums. It was incredible. I had to get to know them. I, I just went up, there and went up to them and just talked to them and just asked them for an interview. And we did an interview sitting somewhere. I think we were on like a, like a stoop on a street or something. I don't even know what magazine or newspaper it went into. I was the first person to interview The Roots. I'm connected to The Roots through Amir Questlove, better known, familiar to millions by that name. Uh, he and his group, The Roots, I brought them to the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. I had them perform for a group of young people. And this was before their first album, but Questlove was an intern for me first, so. We would come to the studio, you know, and uh, we're in the studio every day with James, you know, James Poirier. I'm in there, he's, Spank, you don't do this, don't do that. You know, I'm in there getting beat, whatever. I was just a youngin' at the studio, just around, and James clearly, you know, helped me in the studio, my plan and everything, and Amir was always there. Like, he didn't have to sit me down and, you know, like personally spank, do this, do that. I watched him still getting my lessons. I'm gonna get another lesson tonight. Um, they are the foundation and like the, the standard of many and the standard of like most most live hip hop bands. I happen to be the father of uh, Questlove, Amir Questlove Thompson. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad to be here and very proud of the fact that uh, uh, Philadelphia loves my son so much. I first met The Roots in London actually, long time ago. Um, they had just become a group, but they weren't the Roots yet. And uh, one day, the Roots manager, Rich Nichols, just showed up um, at my house. He found out about me from someone else in London. Um, he showed up at my house and he's like, yeah, you know, I've got this group called The Roots and I want to play you their demo. Back in those days, you know, it was like cassette tape. So he puts the cassette tape in my, in my, uh, in my cassette deck. He starts playing his music. I was like, yeah, wow. Wow, that's this is hard. Okay, so who does the programming and whatever? He's, he's like, oh no no no, that's live. That's live. What do you mean it's live? Wait, that's a drum machine. No, that's not a drum machine. That's a drummer. And then one day I got a phone call. About three years later, I got a phone call from Rich, and Rich was like, yeah, you know, okay, uh, got this band. Want you to come out and produce them? And uh, so he brought me out um, to produce this band. The band ended up being the Jazzy Fat Nasties. You know, ten years later, still there. That's how it happened. Well, it's more than 10 years now. That's how I'm connected. That's how I'm connected to the roots. But how are you connected? How are you connected? Now, I told you earlier how I was connected to Questlove from his dad. But how are you connected? I hope you're connected forever. 